Hi, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video, I'll show you how to track metabolites of metoprolol in GastroPlus 9.5. This is a demonstration of tutorial 5.46 in GastroPlus 9.5, so the files are available to you if you want to reproduce what I'm doing in this video. Uh, I'm going to use an IV infusion of a 3.9 milligram dose of metropolol. The infusion time is 10 minutes. We're going to track the concentration in plasma and the amount in urine for both metropolol, the parent compound, and its metabolites. This demonstration would require the metabolism and transporter and also the PPPK modules of GastroPlus. Metropolol is primarily metabolized by CYP2D6. So here I show the hydroxylation product on the carbon uh, next to the phenyl ring. Uh, it's also removes the isopropyl group to form the N-des isopropyl compound. And then the uh, methoxy group is demethylated to form the O-desmethyl. Again, this is done by CYP2D6. The KM for the clearance of metropolol is 26 micromolar. The Vmax is 423 picomolar per minute per milligram of microsomal protein. So we'll be entering this data into the enzyme table. This next slide is uh, simply an overview of the process. First, I'm going to open up a drug database. And again, this is uh, one you can open up in the tutorial folder of the GastroPlus directory. We're going to create the uh, physiology, define the uh, renal clearance of both the parent and the metabolites, and then enter the KM and Vmax for 2D6 for transforming metropolol into the metabolites. We're going to show the in vivo data as an IPD file. Uh, this has already been loaded into the database. I'll just simply show the curves. We're going to track both the in vivo data for the plasma concentration and the amount in urine for both the metabolites and the parent compound. Then we'll run the simulation and show the graphs where we compare the simulation to the in vivo data. Okay, the first thing I'll do is open up the uh, database I, I've created. Again, this is in the tutorial tree. Uh, in this particular database, there's two records. Uh, the first one is for metropolol, and the second record is for the metabolites. And again, there's no structure here because we're tracking all the metabolites, all three metabolites here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the pharmacokinetics tab and define a new PBPK uh, model. It will be for healthy male, American male that's 30 years old uh, with a weight of 86.27 kilograms. Uh, so now save this uh, in the same folder as the database. So now I'll click on the edit PBPK button in order to define our clearance in the kidney for this first record. So I can double click on the uh, kidney uh, record here and I'm going to specify uh, the FUP times GFR as the uh, kidney clearance for this uh, for the parent compound metroprolol. Uh, then we'll just go and uh, close this and then we'll skip to the next record which is the um, metabolites. Uh, here I'll just use control N to change to the metabolites record. Then we specify the same PBPK model here. Uh, here we're going to edit it and again, edit the uh, kidneys here, and then specify a uh, simple clearance here of five liters per hour for the um, metabolites. Now, if we take a look at the PBPK summary for the metabolites, uh, we see that there's a value of five liters per hour for the uh, clearance in the kidney for this record. If we go to the first record, which is the uh, parent compound, we'll see that that is cleared as uh, 6.424 liters per hour. And again, that's the FUP times the GFR. So now let's go back uh, to the compound tab. And now we want to enter uh, data in the enzyme table. We're going to specify the 2D6 enzyme here. Uh, the location is going to be PBPK. The data source as microsomes is fine. Now we're going to go into the unit converter and specify uh, an unbound value 
with a KM of 26 uh, micromolar and then the VMAX uh, in vitro is 423 and we have to change the units to picomole per minute per milligram of microsomal enzyme. Uh, so this will set up uh, this data here. So now we need to transfer these values uh, over into the enzyme table. Close this and now you'll see that these two values are in here. Now the other thing we need to do is map these to the metabolites uh, record. So that's simply by uh, pulling down on this menu and specifying the metabolites record here. Uh, so then we would save this uh, in the enzyme table and we would have this set up to be metabolized by 2D6. The expression levels for 2D6 are already set up in the PBPK model. If you need to modify this, you would go into Edit PBPK, uh, go into the uh, liver compartment and the enzymes, and uh, you'll see here that this is specified for 2D6. So now I'll just close these two boxes here. Okay, now let's take a look at the in vivo data. You'll see that here in this uh, um, window here that the IPD data has already been uh, loaded or imported. So if I go into file load, we can take a look at that data. And you'll see that um, this is the data for uh, the amount in urine of the parent compound. And so you'll see how that's metabolized. Uh, we can go switch to the metabolites record, uh, a larger amount of this removed by the kidneys, and then we can also take a look at the curves for the venous return. Uh, so this is the plasma concentration of the metabolites. It increases as metropolol is being metabolized and then decreases as the metabolites are being cleared. And then for metropolol, this is an IV dose form and it simply decreases as the compound is being metabolized and cleared by the kidneys. So now we're all set up to perform a simulation. So I'll go into the simulation tab. I've already defined this as a 72-hour simulation. So I cl simply click on the start button and the simulation starts. Finishes fairly quickly, so we'll just let that finish. And uh, you see the Cmax is a little bit off, so it's a little bit high on the Cmax of the parent compound. Tmax looks fine, and then the area under the curve uh, looks pretty good compared to experimental results. If we go into the graph tab, we can click on the new plot and uh, select curves both for the parent and the metabolite. So we'll go into the pharmacokinetics tab. The plasma concentration is already selected. We'll also select it for the amount in urine and then change the record to the metabolites and similarly uh, plot the concentration in plasma and in the urine. So then when we close this, uh, we get this dialog box here and going to uh, hide the uh, uh, values here. Uh, this is defined for the tissues. So in cyan is for the kidneys and then in the dark blue is the concentration in the plasma. We can uh, color this by the compound type in order to see that uh, the, this is for the metabolites and then the red uh, curves are for the parent metropolol. And so this shows uh, that, you know, there, the clearance is a little bit overestimated uh, uh, since this line uh, for metropolol is a little bit below the uh, experimental results. And then you also see that the metabolite is a little bit high. Uh, so you could adjust that just a little bit maybe to get a better fit. So in closing, I just want to thank everyone for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, you can email me at mlawless at simulations-plus.com. Thank you very much. Take care.